I like to shoot people. I like to shoot people a lot, man. I like to shoot all kinds of people. I just want to shoot everybody. What's going on, everybody? This is Derek Miglia with Mig Picks Media. 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 I'm bringing you a review after six months of this bad boy right here, man. And I'm telling you, you won't believe the things that this thing can do. I just make you not want it. Nikon Z62. It's definitely one of the best cameras that I've ever used. And I'm personally a hybrid shooter. I shoot photo and video. And with this guy, man, it just makes it a dream. It makes shooting with it just I mean great. I've used it. I've used it in a wedding, I've used it for video, I've used it at my kids. Um, events. I just did a family photo shoot two days ago, and I mean the pictures are amazing. The more that I use this camera, the more I like it. And I'm not gonna really go into the specs on this camera. Um, I do have another video that I'll link. I'm just gonna go over my personal thing. Now this ain't no paid promotions with Nikon, no grouping nobody sent me no money all of this is my personal equipment my personal opinion first thing we'll go over is versatility this camera is extremely versatile the z series z series however you want to say it is limited on their lenses but they make up with it with this little guy this thing right here this ftz adapter is just man it, it works it works great it works perfectly like i don't see any reason why you wouldn't use an adapter and use your old nikon lenses i put this 35 on there and i feel confident that i'm gonna get quality images out of this camera whenever i shoot it i mean and that's part of what makes it so versatile is i mean the megapixels and the full frame give you excellent picture quality. The 4K60 is so good. The files that come off of it are so easy to edit, man. It's, th this camera was really built to be around for a while. And one of the main secrets on here that I don't think a lot of people are realizing, I'll let you know at the end, just stick with me. Next, I wanna talk about handling. So the Nikon, menu system isn't it the greatest it's not all that you know it's it's maneuverable you can get around it if you learn it it takes a little bit of figuring out but once you figure it out and you get your camera set i mean they got everything up front they got two buttons on the inside right here that i personally like to use they don't bother me some people don't like them but i like them because i can configure my white balance and my focus area without ever looking up. I never have to focus on anything except my composition, which makes it when you're in the heat of the moment and you're flashing and shooting. I'm not a, you know, a, a, a EVF guy. I don't, I don't EVF, you know, I, I don't. You don't want to take time to figure out what button does what. You want to be able to just get it, adjust it and keep on going. And with the button placement, I really like it. You got your autofocus button on the back back here. I do still use back button autofocus. Um, and this little switch, we're not even going to talk about that. That is great, man. I love that thing. Just the, the ease of going from video to camera and being able to set both at different um, settings. I mean, that's, that's just genius. Okay. So last, we're gonna talk about this big secret that Nikon has going on, right? So, Sony just released a7 IV. And the same month that Sony released the a7 IV, Nikon released a firmware update. So basically, what they're gonna do is, what, the, what Nikon is trying to do, this is my opinion, this is what I think, this is what I'm predicting. What Nikon is trying to do is, they put out this perfect body, this camera, this awesome machinery, this just exquisite electronic right here. So you purchase this, right? 
It comes with two processors built inside of it to continue to build on the firmware that's already there. Let me give you an example. Whenever I purchased this camera, it was only 4K 30. That was the highest that it could record. One firmware update, they were able to change this camera internally to do 4K 60. That leads me to believe that if they wanted to internally change this camera to do 4K 120, they could. If they wanted to internally take away the crop, they could. Whatever the newest, latest technology that is coming out, they put the dual processors inside so that it can handle the firmware upgrades instead of having to get a whole new camera. That is great. That's great for the consumer because it allows you to get a camera body that you can be confident in for years to come because they just keep releasing firmware updates. Now the lenses are a little on the expensive side. The, the cheapest S mount or S lens that's for the Z mount, I mean, it's around 500 bucks. I got the 51.8 on here and it's around 500 bucks but that that brings me back to the adapter because you can also get a sony adapter and put sony lenses on here and the eye autofocus will work you can get your you can use your old nikon lenses if you're already in the nikon system and they will work great they will work perfect no problem so it just in my opinion this nikon z62 right here is definitely one of slowly becoming the best camera that I've used the best all-around camera you know that I used I use the screen and with this 3.2 inch screen with I mean the colors are great it's very clear it's very bright it's perfect image quality is superb the video is great the st image stabilization is gets a little quirky because it it digitally tries to stabilize and it has the axis. It just, you know, sometimes it can make jerky moves that you really wasn't intending to do. Overall, handheld video, I mean, it, it does good. If y'all have any questions or comments or anything, you know, I'm always here. I answer them. If you want to look, check it out. I do answer them. I'm not going to ask anybody to subscribe because I feel like you guys hear that all the time anyway. So what I'm going to do is say, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. And if I can ever help in any kind of way, let me know. Till next time, keep shooting. The best camera you can have is the one you use. And that's what we're going to do.